and welcome to your go market update for today we hope you had a good weekend it's the 11th of july 2022 and mike smith senior analyst at go markets here to take you through a wonder through what's happening in the markets today so far of course just to refresh on friday we saw the u.s market close in near neutral territory it was a choppy session but ended the week overall in positive territory uh, but U.S. futures haven't followed through on that sentiment. We're seeing things slightly softer in Asia. And that may just be due to a little bit of caution in light of what's coming out later in the week. Asian indices are very mixed this morning. The Nikkei is doing very well in excess of 1.5% of the upside. The ASX, however, is down 0.5% at this stage towards the lows of the session. And European futures are pointing to a mildly lower open. The US dollar index added to the gains from the early part of the week on Friday and it is up in Asia challenging that resistance line that it's been smashing against over the last few days. Very strong particularly against the yen today. Gold is flat around 1740 and we did see some recovery in oil after dropping in excess of 10% earlier in the week and is now around that 106 level on the Brent crude contract. The VIX is trading below 28 this morning and is still at monthly lows despite that weakness in equity futures. And copper is weaker in Asia also on Chinese demand concerns and may test last week's lows. In the crypto space, we seem to have a little bit of stabilization. Bitcoin is trading within a range. It is down in Asia this morning, but above 20,000 as we record this. And as we referenced, it is a really important week in terms of financial markets. We've got US earnings season starting with the major banks being the first out of the traps and releasing their numbers in the middle of the week. It's a quiet day today, today but inf investor eyes will be focused primarily on that next US inflation report, which is due out on Wednesday evening. So perhaps we're going to see some caution over the next few days, which may add to the volatility we've seen recently. Let's have a look at a couple of charts which caught our eye today so far. Uh, if we start with the Canadian dollar yen, the yen is showing signs of weakness. And you can see we're pushing back up towards this 106.17, around about 50 pips higher from where we are now. And a break of that offers the opportunity for potentially another move up of around about 65 pips looking at the shorter time frame you can see there that's what's happened in asia a little bit of stabilization as we are recording this right now but this may just be profit taking on those that have benefited from the 60 pip move we've had already today on the asx one of the stocks that caught our eye was jb hi-fi uh, you can see this is pushed back up hard against resistance at around about 4070 that we touched a couple of weeks ago we're seeing both of the short-term ma's moving to the upside at this stage not a lot of volume behind this so it'll be interesting to see where this sits towards the back end of the day if we do push through this we've potentially got a a gap closing move here and then even up to the last established support before we have this down move at around about 4360 so plenty of upside in this if we do get some buying pressure and want to watch during the course of the week. Trade safe and we'll see you again soon. Bye bye for now.